Today, while I was in Uri, and I was just travelling along the street, and what did I come across? An illegal Republican parade. They were in the middle of the road with their flags, their banners, their placards, and what were they doing? Glorifying the murder of that prison officer, that man Black. Now, I was actually down at that man Black's home, but I'm not going to go dwell on that because I don't want to bring that family into this. Uh, that's for another day. But these people were out glorifying and carrying out an illegal act. And the other Sunday while I was in Belfast at a legal parade, the police were all over the place, shoving cameras into everybody's faces, taking photographs. So I pulled in and I confronted these boys. I don't care about them. These men laughed in my face about the murder of that prison officer. Now I will not be intimidated by these tramps because they're in the middle of the street, they're holding a legal parade, they're slowing traffic down, stopping traffic, and nobody but nobody is doing anything about it. What did I hear? Them laughing into my face and told me to join the prison service because there was a vacancy going and told me that they were going to burn me in the car and they were going to do this and they were going to do that. Hey, get that off my car. Get that... Get that off my car. Get that off Republican scum off my car, boy. Well, pull me out of the car there. Go ahead and do it. Do it. You having your AK with you? You don't pull too much, you scumbags. He's out murdered and out murdered a, a defenseless man. Get that s s filth off my car. Scumbag, you. Scumbag. I didn't do the murdering. I didn't murder anybody. Did you get my dad? Yeah. I'll not put the camera down. There's no law again having a camera. Uh, long lonely road home. What does that mean? Huh? Aye, brave man. You can't even show your faces. Huh? Brave to show your faces. You're gonna wreck my car. You're gonna wreck my car. This is. A, I thought this was a peaceful protest. So you're gonna wreck my car. The three side all the turned out, doesn't it? One of these wouldn't show a bit of respect. Pull the trigger and I'm going to pull you out of that car. Tell me. You're going to pull me out of the car? You pull away, boy. What? You pull away. You might find it might be as easy pulled as you think. I'm not an undefenseless undefen man driving down the road that you can pull up alongside and shoot. Who bastards. Eh? Who is? Who's yous? Who's yous? The ordinary people. Uh, the first speaker is Steve Fannin, speaker on behalf of the family and friends of Republican prisoners. The following year in the location of Hala, being the most vulnerable, having made the ultimate sacrifice to the hunger strike, to have to be the criminalization policy of the past year, they're concerned Given the sacrifices, hardships, and brutality that Republicans endured, is that a good car to drive? You hear about the fella got the puncture in the M1? His job done. You find it amusing that mom's mother? You find it very amusing? You what? Why? I'm naked. I'm not the one standing in the middle of the road. Hello? Aye, but I've got 
I was in Uri here and got caught up with a bunch, was a, a bunch, I don't know what you would call them, laughing and joking about that poor man that was shot in the middle of the road here. But uh, I'm refusing to move. Yeah. But I don't, listen, can I talk to you? I'm in the middle of it here. Huh? Have you repaid the European money yet, Willie? What? Have you repaid the European money yet? European money? Aye. Yeah. Your stars don't intimidate me, but. No, Sam, but haven't gone away. Now, I know the police was rang because somebody was speaking to me on the phone whenever they heard me being threatened and they rung the police. What happened? The police come out. Did they come over to me? No. They took a photograph of me sitting in my car and left the people who were gathered at an illegal parade to carry on their illegal activity. So it's quite clear nowadays that you can be an IRM man, you can be a Republican, you can break the law. And the only thing that'll happen is you'll maybe get a job in the civil service or end up in government. And I have to say, I was sickened whenever I heard Jonathan Bell from the DUP on today. I heard him on and he said from the Taoiseach to the Prime Minister, that they would make sure that these people were brought to justice. Don't insult us, Mr. Bell, because I heard them words before in many a house over many, many years. I heard you promising we'll leave no stone unturned. We'll bring these people to justice for what they've done. Before the DUP get into power, our organisation was going well. When I say going well, we were helping victims from all walks of life, and indeed outside of South Armagh. When they came into power, our money stopped. 157 workers within the victim sector, I think it is 23 or 24 that are deemed to be workers within unionist stroke Protestant victims groups. The rest are for nationalists, sorry, not even nationalists, for Republican and prisoner organisations. 157, 23 or 24 are working for victims groups, genuine innocent victims groups. Not one employed in South Armagh from the DUP come into power. So please, Jonathan Bell, don't talk to me about justice. You know nothing about the meaning of justice. And very soon we will be outside your office and we will bring the message to the people within your constituency. I heard you promising we'll leave no stone unturned we'll bring these people to justice for what they've done what did you do and you put them into governance and then you put them into our police force and now you have put them onto the streets where they don't even have to ask for permission and then you will hunt young lads down in Belfast who have put in for permission for to have parades you will hound them because somebody says they played a tune that wasn't liked we don't get any money now from Europe or from anywhere because the DUP is withholding it. Because the DUP want me to go away. But they don't understand. Willie Fraser is only the spokesperson for the rest of the victims in South Armagh. So when they're attacking me, they're attacking the victims in South Armagh. And it's not only in South Armagh, in other areas. Now, you can listen to it here yourselves, folks. Whenever you listen to the Republicans on the microphone here, you will hear them stating how they have united again. At long last, they are starting to unite. And one of the first things they talk about is Raymond McCrish, the hunger striker. Now, if these are dissidents, why are they talking about Raymond McCrish, the hunger striker, the man behind the massacre of the King's Mills victims. One of the individuals involved in killing not only the King's Mills people, but some of his customers who he delivered milk to. The DUP are going to create a shrine. Or sorry, they're not going to create it. It's, they're going to allow it to be created at the maze to remember McCrish. Giving them 18 million to create a centre. 
to honour the very man who there that crowd was out today praising who was also laughing and joking and talking about the necessity to mother a man going to do a day's work I would ask people to waken up in this country the glorification of the butchery of our people and I hear the people like Jonathan Bell who has no idea what it is like to come face to face with Republicans please do not insult me and insult my family and the people of South Armagh by saying that the men that carry out the shooting on that prison officer that nothing will be left untorned until they're brought to justice for it Mr Paisley and Mr Robinson and other men stood in our homes and promised us that these men would be held accountable did you do it? No the weapons and stuff they used belong to the IRA. The people who are advising them and training them are IRA. Please do not insult our intelligence by telling us we do not know what we're talking about. Because it will be us that has to pay the price.